Logan Kane here, and this is episode 13 of Paper Sorcerer. Today I think we'll continue on the cell blocks. Let's go on and try and think. Back to the map, that's what I need to do. Last time we got our puppet up to date, and we got a skeleton, so that should be fun. Oh, and this music, I've been saying it's great the last time we were going through level 3. Turns out it sounds similar to some jazz music, and I got all sorts of copyright take- uh, well, not takedowns, uh, copyright matches, so that's fun. This, uh, common jazz tune that's going on right here, yeah, that definitely is a content ID match. But oh well, let's see what thievery can do. Wait, let's examine it first. You notice the door has a lock made of brass. Additionally, upon closer inspection, you notice the inside of the keyhole is coated with some kind of alchemic substance. That makes me think that if I try and pick it, which I'm going to, you attempt to open it, but it's locked. But it's going to explode on me. The goblin confidently strides up to the door and begins working on the lock. Da -da 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 -da. Moments later, the goblin meekly backs away in his head in shame. It appears the lock is the victor. I guess that was my only... <laughs> you decide you have enough of this door. Kick it down! Oh right, this is illusionist territory, isn't it? I need to keep checking the checking the walls. Hmm. Let's go this way. This door is also locked. The door this one has been painted blue. And chemical. And I'm guessing this will be the same. Working on the lock, dot dot dot. Lock is the victor. Okay, we'll leave it alone. Go the other way. I bet it'll be yet another color. Door is locked. Examine. This one's red. Bloom. Yep, there's that copyright ID. Yay. Alright, so we'll go here. And this one is white. And I'll throw thievery at it anyway. Nope. Please. This is the first time I've been able to use lock picking, so. I'm going to try it on all the doors. And the last one. This one's black. Except for that one door that didn't allow me to try thievery. But, you know. They probably just forgot it or missed it. Probably a programming error. I believe this was done by one guy, so that wouldn't be too surprising. Although there were plenty of testers. Is that the end of... What? Well, okay. What, are the, what is this guy over here? A level 12 warrior. Anyway, we know how this goes. Be right back. And we're back. Got to find long steel sword. Ooh, that might actually, I might actually be able to equip that. For a change, I can actually equip swords. All right, where is my skeleton? I'm guessing we get one more hero. Or, I say hero, summon. Yep, find long steel sword, okay. This is interesting. Inside the cabinet is an old book. So worn, you can't make out the title. As you flip through it, your eyes catch on a particular passage. Well, this has happened like six times now. Some shapeshifters have a proclivity to taking on the form of mammals, as compared to other creatures well enough for the same goals. Okay. Often past experience or tastes factor into the decision. Okay. Now check out this chest. You found one white key. And I could go to the next level. But yeah, right. Like, I'm not going to do all of this. I don't remember which one was the white. Hopefully it's the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Examine. Brass. I don't think the white key is going to do it. 
When you put the key into the lock, it begins to sizzle and smoke. Moments later, it's been dissolved into almost nothing. Must have been the wrong key. Oh, shit. Did I just completely lose the ability to do this whole area? I thought maybe brass was white, but I guess I was wrong. I might... My curiosity is too strong to just let that go. Is there another white key? No, my, my, yeah, my dip. What the shit? Well, let's try and go up to the next level. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. We're tired of congratulating ourselves. And then, yeah, I figured this would be by the binding. Let's go back here. Yeah. I have to know what that is. I, I just have to. So, I'm gonna reload, but I'll fast forward through the whole thing until we get back to the white key and the door. All right? Be right back. And we're back. Apparently we're at the white door. Let's actually try using the white key on the white door and see what happens. Alright, white key. Go on in there. The key unlocks the door. The room smells musty, like no one's been here in a long time. Okay. Well, what's in the lockbox? A red key. And what's in the chest? Reinforced steel chainmail. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's check. Let's take a look. The cultist armor. Uh, 84, and what I have is 150, so no. Can the skeleton wear that? I doubt it. Ooh, he can. He can. Wear that chainmail is way better. Alright, what color key did I get? Red? I think it was red. Nah, I'll just look. I don't even want to go to the use. Let's see, where is my keys? Not there. Quest items. Red key. Yes, red. And this is... Examine. Black. Nope. Leave that alone. Oh, I could see this being aggravating. I know the brass ones all the way at the beginning. Next, next. Examine. Blue. That's not the one I want. Leave it alone. Enough. Well, my thief's tools didn't get screwed up when he went in there, so I don't... don't know why it didn't tell me that. Red. Alright. Let's go ahead and use the red key. Let's go. Key unlocks the door. As you enter the room, a thick mist begins to flow in through the cracks in the wall. After a brief moment, it begins to take on humanoid form. What? I don't see anything. Okay. okay. Ooh, what the fuck? There's a plus one on him. Uh, is this a yoga dude? You know what? All right. First of all, defense up. Let's go. Puppet. Hit that motherfucker hard. All right. And then you go ahead and go ahead and poison him. He could use some poisoning. And no, knockdown's a stupid one to use at the end of my turn. Let's use Brutal Strike. Invisibility, great. Okay, this is gonna be great. Evade. Bah. Evading my poison too? Hmm. Not really sure what to do now. I guess I'll just attack. See what happens. Go ahead and do a challenge. Yeah, let's challenge. The Minotaur is just gonna attack because that's what he's got. I, although I apparently poisoned him, so that's that's something. Drop a black bolt on him and see what happens. <laughs> 
Uh, well, I can tell this is going to be a very slow, annoying battle, so I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. It's not that interesting if he evades everything, except maybe the one magic attack that... This is ridiculous. I'll be right back. And we're back. Apparently that fire and poison did plenty of damage to knock him out. Also, his invisibility seemed to have gone away after a few turns, but I didn't really see any notification about it. And I get not knowing what statuses the enemies have that are in their benefit, but damn. I, I should be able to tell if they're invisible or not. Alright, what's in here? Leather armor. 50 defense. And a blue key! Yay! So, leather armor. 50 defense, it's probably going to go to the goblin, who has 32 defense. Nope. Uh, what did I say, blue key? I think it's a blue key. And I think this one was the blue one. Let's examine it. Painted black, I am wrong. Let's leave that alone. And maybe this one was the blue one then. Yeah, that's right. Red and blue, white and black. Okay, I see what they're doing here. Examine. Should be blue. Can I have the blue key, right? Yes, blue key. Let's do this. This one doesn't have a search or a smell or anything. Got a black key. Guess I'll be going back. Healing pot. Ivory statue. Money. Gems. Money in a draw form. And a snuff box. Also money. Okay. This is clearly a bunch of unnecessary stuff. I might have been better off just not reloading and keeping that fine steel sword. And this would be the black one. Examine it anyway, because, like hell. Use item. Black. Unlocks the door. Nothing in this room either. Just a couple of boxes. Plain brass key. Amulet of Interstrength, plus two EN. The hell is that? Does Skellington have an accessory? He does. What is? It? Oh, energy. Derp. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know if I want anybody to wear it though. What's my sorcerer got. Well, that's. It's just defense. Having some extra energy on my skeleton would be incredible, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. He's going to have the inner strength. I got the plain brass key, so I get to go all the way back, yay! I wonder what's across from the brass door. We have the brass door there, and oh, that's where I came in. Okay. Door's locked. Examine anyway. Lock made of brass. Use item. Plain brass key. Thank God keys aren't huge in this game, like some... Ooh. This room's different. Yeah, thank God it's not just key after key like this for the whole game, like some horror games are. Healing. Ailments. Money. Money raw. What's in here? Come on, there's gotta be something in here. Are you gonna have... Oh. Okay. What about this? Alloy Qatar. Wow. I guess I'll hold on to that. Probably get a werewolf next. Money. Alloy chain? Oh, right. There's somebody that uses a chain as a weapon. Holy sh 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 shit. Shit, <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. Alright. Anything new for my sorcerer? <laughs> no, you're not wearing that. No. But I want to see what it was. 13 to 26? To 25 to 56. Oh, that makes me want to bring him back out. I might. But what would I replace? Who am I going to replace? My Minotaur? Hell no. I'm digging the skeleton. 
And he's the only one I'd replace. Not gonna happen. Anyway, I do believe that does... That does it? I am so smart. SMR. Anyway, that does it for this episode of Paper Sorcerer. Hope you all are still enjoying it. And enjoy.